Good morning, friends, and welcome to another cash stuffing slash budget video. Um, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. We'd love to have you as part of our family here on YouTube. And for those of you guys who are returning, thank you so much for coming back and watching videos each week. It really does mean the world to me. I do put one of these videos out just about every week. I think I only have missed one or two weeks since I started this journey. Um, well, I've been doing this for a very long time, but I only started recording them um, in about June or July. So we're in like month four or five and um, you know, we're living our best life. You guys seem to really, really enjoy these videos. Um, if you have any questions about these videos or any questions about my budget, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, and if you are new here, I do have a budget playlist. So if you want to hit that budget playlist and run back through all of the different types uh, of things that I talk about, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, <clears throat> it is officially fall slash winter here in Missouri and I say that lightly because um, in Missouri it is a different type of winter and fall situation. One day it's like 20 degrees, the next day it's 70. Um, Missouri is a very odd place to live. Um, and the saying is true, if you don't like the weather today, then you should just wait until tomorrow. It'll be completely different, which is a true story. Hello? Hello? Focus? Focus? There we go. Um, I have a really fancy camera. Um, it's a vlogging camera, actually. It is the Mark Three something or another. No, uh, G7. Mark two, three, I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's really fancy, but the autofocus is just what that is, autofocus. So if it's focusing on something and, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I haven't quite figured it out. There's a lot of people out there that work this camera more proficiently than I do. Um, but I am a very busy, busy bee and I just don't have time to get that far into it, okay? So we are going to work on this. This is what we're working on. Um, I have um, been, for those of you guys who are new, this is why we I do these videos. Um, we take our bill money out of each paycheck each week and we put it into our saving, our checking account and we take our savings money and put it into our savings account. This money that you're going to see right here is our weekly money that we play with, things that we um, save up for, so forth and so on. Um, I do go a little bit more into detail in my last video that I made last week. So if you're interested in that kind of information, please go watch last week's video. Um, it is a very chatty, talkative video, and that's because I had several questions um, about the way that I do things specifically, so I wanted to address those. And if you leave me a question or a comment in the description bar, I will do my best to address it the following week. Um, that's usually how I roll. I do have a full-time job, I have an Etsy store, and I do YouTube. So I'm a very busy, busy little bee. I have three uh, boy kids, all in different age groups, 17, 10, and 6. So we are constantly going, doing things. Our life is filled with bunches and bunches of stuff. We rarely have any time that is just downtime in our household. Uh, my kids are very active in sports and things like that. So we run nonstop. Run nonstop. Okay. So we have, uh, every week I pull out what's left over out of my miscellaneous fund. And this miscellaneous fund is just that. It is just uh, an envelope. I usually put 40 bucks in there. And it's just for anything extra personally that we might need. So if I ran out of toothpaste and I forgot to get it in my grocery haul, I'll use this money for that. If I decide that I need a big old fat Mountain Dew, I'll use this money for that. Um, and anything that just comes up that we might need <clears throat> that I haven't allocated funds for, then that's how we roll, okay? That's how we do things. Um, and so I take out all of my, I consciously decide not to spend my $5 bills and I set them aside in what we call my $5 challenge. 
Um, if you haven't watched last week's video, I will I explain a little bit more into detail what we use this money for. But I usually set a, set aside all of my $5 bills. I put it into its own envelope. Um, once I get to $100 in my $5 bills, I take it out, put it in my safe. This money goes towards our extra things that we do as a family. Um, for example, a couple weekends ago, it was my birthday. We, we went away for four days, and I was able to fund that entire four-day trip off of the $5 bills that I have saved. Um, so that is just, we do that two, three times a year. Um, one time it might be kids want to go to Six Flags, so we will go and spend that chunk of money on that. It's just something little extra um, other than vacation that we spend our money on um, that we like to save up for. So we're not taking it out of you know, our checking account or, or pulling it out of our savings. Um, and then I have, so I guess I should count that, 5, 10, 20. And then uh, $23 is left over my miscellaneous. And then if I have gas money left over, I pull that out as well. Focus for me here. Okay, okay. Um, and, but normally I do not have, see here's my $5 challenge envelope. And then this is just my buffer account and I have a buffer account specifically for um, things like if I go to the grocery store and my budget is $80 and I go over <clears throat> by three or $4, I can pull that extra little buffer account money out and use it and I'm not swiping my debit card, if that makes any sense. So in this account, I usually put 20, 30 bucks in there, just whatever's left over after I allocated all the rest of my money. Um, <clears throat> so it looks like all I got is ones in here. One, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so what i always do is i take all of my ones out and since that's quite a bit of ones this week i probably will allocate this somewhere one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh normally i just have usually you know three or four one dollar bills left over and i usually just put that into my gro grocery budget but because there's so many ones in there i might allocate that into a different fund this week we will see as i get going you never know how i'm gonna do things okay and so then I'm gonna take this uh, 20 bucks in $5 bills and come back here to my $5 challenge, our $5 challenge envelope, and I'm gonna pull out the $5 bills that I have, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So that's $65 bills that I have saved since I've come back from that four day weekend and that's really only been like two and a half weeks. So that's not bad and I took uh, $400 worth of $5 bills with me on that trip and spent just about all of that. It paid for our hotel, paid for all of our food, our gas money, all of that stuff. Um, so $400 for a four day weekend, not bad for a family of five. Um, I'm just saying, we spend way more than that on vacation. And sometimes as we're getting close to vacation, I take this $5 uh, fund with us um, and it buys extra things. Like last year we went to a cabin for a week and it paid for a golf cart and um, little dirt bike thing rentals for the whole week. Um, and extra eating out money and stuff like that. So we will probably have, we usually go on vacation in May um, and we will probably have one other trip because it's almost Christmas now. Um, we'll probably have one other weekend trip before our actual vacation. Um, so we'll see what we can save up for for that. Yeah, I haven't decided what that's gonna be yet. We like to travel uh, as much as we can and you guys know if you guys are traveling kind of family a uh, family of five to travel and to go on vacation is not a cheap thing. It's not a cheap thing Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in I've went ahead and wrote down in here what my budget is allocated for this tab says September uh, I need to fix that I have it in there. I have this in the wrong spot <clears throat> Anywho, 
And for those of you guys who are curious, this is the Happy Planner dashboard layout um, in the colorful. This I have a I have Franken plan, so I have different section in my planner. But this is the actual planner that I have, the Live a Colorful Life, and it is dashboard layout. If you guys are curious. Um, that is what that is. I just have my November budget sheet in September for some reason. Anywho, we're going to go ahead and get started on this, on the cash stuffing goodness. So groceries always gets 80 bucks, 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, this week, I don't think I'm even going to spend $80 because we have a lot of stuff here in the house as far as like lunch supplies goes and things like that. My kids do uh, bring their lunch, but I do put money into their lunch account for like milk and breakfast if they decide they're going to eat breakfast. Miscellaneous will get 40 Dollar Tree is getting $20. Um, and I just use... I love going to Dollar Tree, so I always just give myself 20 bucks. Um, I love Dollar Tree and their craft supply, although I really haven't been doing much crafting lately. Um, I'm just so busy I, with my Etsy store and things like that that I cannot, I just don't have time to do any crafting um, for personal uh, use and things like that. I have been, of course, I have an Etsy store, so I kind of am crafting, but it's also a business. I am not putting any money into gas this week because I already did it. Um, uh, my boys had a dentist appointment yesterday, so I had my husband go ahead and put the gas in my car. So I don't have to put 20 bucks in there. And I know you guys are thinking, wow, 20 bucks a week is quite cheap for gas. Um, first of all, Missouri's gas is like right now, I think it's $2.19 a gallon when I'm recording this video. Um, most of our activities are done inside of our little town. Um, we have just about everything that we would need here in town. Our kids go to school here. Uh, they're all in sports. All that fun stuff. So $20 in my vehicle usually lasts me about a week. Um, but I did uh, put in the $20 for gas uh, to take my kids to the dentist already because it's in Festus, so that's about an hour away from me. Um, but my cat, my car does really good on gas, so I seriously doubt I'll need any more gas for the week, so I'm not going to put anything in there. If for some reason I might have to, I will just put pull out of my miscellaneous fund um, for that school this is back to school when I made this envelope it was back to school time but this is just money that goes in I usually put uh, $20 every couple of weeks in the boys's lunch account two weeks to three weeks just depending so it's time for me to do that <clears throat> so I'm gonna put 20 in there normally at back to school time you know, I save quite a bit more money for that. But right now, now that school's in, all the beginning of school stuff is over, all the t-shirts are bought, all the school supplies are bought, the clothes, all that stuff, I don't have to put as much money in there. Car maintenance will get 20 as well. And right now we're pretty set. I could probably drop this down to 10. Uh, we did already license both of our vehicles this year. Um, both vehicles got new tires. So the only thing that this money would need is for oil changes and things like that. And uh, my husband can do all that stuff. So it legit cost me a $20 bill to get oil change um, for each of our vehicles because my husband is the bomb.com. If we need windshield wiper fluid or extra oil, we um, do not, or both of our vehicles are paid off. We do not have any debt per se. Um, so the majority of our money is going into savings account for our house build in the spring. Um, let's see, where's, where are we at? We are at sports right now. Football is over. Can you believe it? Um, football season is over for our family here, except for the high schooler. He still has football games. Um, but we are currently over and over and out in the two little boys in football. So right now, um, my kids don't play basketball, but my one son will end up playing baseball. Uh, so right now we're just putting $10 in here for just a build up of the next sports, you know, cleats, uniforms, fees, all that stuff. So I could probably actually drop this down to $5, but you guys know I like saving my $5 bills. So we are going to just put $10 and I'm going to go ahead and take these ones from the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to put that in there. 
I need to replace that with a 20 eventually because I hate I hate one dollar bills you just get so many of them they're bulky it's not a fun time I don't know if you guys are the same clothing will get 20 and it looks like uh, I didn't spend any of that last week so now we'll have forty dollars in there family fun we did go we did order pizza this week so this should be empty um, so we have a twenty dollar bill going in that bad boy and then gifts will get 10. Um, I don't believe that we have anything. I think all of the birthdays are over until March. Uh, but I keep saying that and things keep coming up. But I always like to put a little bit in this account in case one of the kids' friends has a birthday party and I need to run really quickly and pick something up. Um, or I need to do something special for a teacher because my kids acted like a crazy person that week or something, you know. Uh, so I do do like to put ten dollars in there. Our vacation fund is getting twenty bucks, and this is just a little fund that I get um, for uh, that I start setting up at the beginning of every year, and I just save up my twenty dollars every single week, and then that usually pays for not our hotel because um, we normally rent like a condo or a cabin or depending on where we're going things like that and that is budgeted out of our like everyday bill money but for this uh, this is like the extra like eating gas money all that fun stuff um, so $20 a week times you know 52 weeks out of the year and sometimes as when we get closer to our vacation, I'll be putting a hundred bucks in there, two hundred bucks in there, forty bucks, whatever. Um, so our buffer is going to get twenty as per use, and then I have to deal with this fourteen dollars over here, left over from last week. What am I going to do with that, friends? What should I do? Tell me. This isn't live, so you can't tell me. How about we put this in our, you know what, maybe I'll just put it into our, hmm, I think I'm just going to put it into the buffer for now um, until I find, I'm actually going to put $10 into the buffer and the other four, four into groceries, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's what I'll do. Um, try to spend those one dollar bills down first before I hit that twenty. So there's that. My husband just walked in the door. I don't know what he's doing. He's in on the bed. My bed. Our bed. Anyway, that does it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the description bar below. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and watching another video. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button before you go. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.